Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who has thick sideway growing nails for over 30 years now. She has what we call tennis toenails. She damaged her nail while playing tennis. Let's see how I can make her nail beautiful again. Okay, so we have um, these nails that are kind of going sideways here from a, a tennis injury. So this is called tennis toe, by the way, because tennis people, they stop and go a lot when they're hitting the ball. And when that happens, the nail gets driven into the back of the nail here where the nail bed is, and that makes the nail damaged and the nail can grow in all direction. In addition to that, it weakens the nail so that it uh, makes the uh, fungus can grow on this. So I'm going to clean it all up, make it look beautiful, and then I'll send the samples to see if it's fungus, if it is what kind of fungus. So, okay, sounds good? Okay, so I'm just going to clean. It's not going to hurt. I'm going to be very gentle and careful, but I'm going to clean it all out to so make it beautiful. So, so you don't play tennis anymore? No, I stopped after that. After that incident, right? Yes. It, it, did it hurt a lot? Uh, it hurt for a while. Uh, let me know if it's hurting, okay? Because I'm cutting this one piece out. I'm going to very slowly, gently cut away and that's not attached, okay? okay. I don't want to cut anything that's attached because that's going to be painful. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to gently... So how long were you playing tennis? Were you playing tennis for a long time? or No. You kind of knew at it? I was an amateur. Oh, yeah, amateur, yeah. As you can see. Yeah. No, a lot of professionals get this problem. Oh. Yeah. So you're not alone. There's a... This condition is named after the tennis players, you know? I, I thought it was just because I didn't know what I was doing. No, you're, you're, it, it doesn't matter what level. People... And then you can have your nail a little bit longer, right? Mm -hmm. And then it hits the uh, tip of the shoes because of the sudden stop. And then it, it drives the nail back into the nail bed and makes, usually has like a, what we call a hematoma, which is like a bleeding. And then that separates the nail and then that weakens the nail. And then fungus can obviously get in there and start growing. So, so I think that's what, what might have happened. When did it become thick like this? Oh, oh, so in the beginning it was kind of thin. Um, yeah, I, I felt there was a thick, uh, kind of like a, a ridge when it hit the back of the, the nail bed. Or, oh, I see. Um, but it didn't bleed or? No. It didn't separate out right away? No. Oh, okay. And then the, did the nail fall off? No, it never did. Oh. Yeah, yeah. If the nail bed's damaged, it's gonna go back the same way. Yeah, with all the pain and everything else, it's it's not it's not good because it's pretty painful to have the whole nail taken off. Mm -hmm. So it's better to find out if it's fungus, then it's treatable. Then we have to just keep the nail healthier and keep it kind of ground down, so it's it's more manageable. Let me know if you feel pain, okay? I'm doing very slow. Yeah. Any pain so far? Nothing? So far, no pain. Okay, good. But it's not painful at the tip of the nail? Nothing? Um, right now? Right now, no. But I, I can feel um, some sensitivity, but not, no. it's not painful. Yeah. So what did you replace the tennis with? Do you do other sports now? No, I, I then I took up dancing for a while. Oh, dancing? Yeah. What kind of dancing? Um, pole dancing. Pole dancing? <laughs> wow, that's pretty tough. <laughs> yeah. That's good exercise, though, right? It, it is. Right. It's very good so you have to be acrobatic, don't you? Uh, yes, it helps. It, yeah. It's flexible, so and I wasn't. I was I was very strong, but I wasn't flexible. Oh. So it. 
it takes both. Yeah. It looks but pretty. my toenail was not as ugly when I was dancing. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so you, I, uh, I don't want to take my, my shoes off or my socks off now. Oh. You will after this, okay? Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It'll look much nicer than how you came in today. So you, are you still doing pole dancing? You still practice? No, I sort of um, gave up. The pandemic didn't help it either. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, so you were doing it and then because of the pandemic, you, you stopped doing Yeah, about a year or so before the pandemic hit, I, I was slowly getting out of it. Oh, really? Oh, you, you take like lessons, classes or what? what yeah, you have to lots do? of them. Um, it was for fun. <laughs> Oh, the friend. Friend knew how to do it. Yeah. Okay, that makes it easier. So what other exercises are you doing now? <laughs> A lot of walking. Oh, walking, okay. Does this bother you when you walk inside no. the shoes? No? Sometimes it gets thick like this and it can bother you. Ouch. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'll stop there. Sometimes I can feel it at the, like at the top of my shoe. It does a little bit, right? Because yeah, it's a little bit thick there. Yeah. It's not painful, painful. No. How about this side? Is that painful? Mm -hmm. No? Uncomfortable? Oh, I see. I see. Just let me know. Not painful. Yeah, just let me know if you feel more. Oh, sorry. Sensitive. Oh, sensitive here. Okay. And then the rest, I'm gonna really grind it down nicely. Okay. As you can see, I got most of it out already. Mm -hmm. okay. So tennis toe is something that I see quite often. A lot of people play tennis, obviously. And then <clears throat> sometimes they forget to cut their nails and nails a little bit long. And then um, because of all the movement inside the shoes as a tennis player, it causes the, the, the nail to be driven back into the uh, nail bed area and it damages the uh, the whole nail and then the nail can grow abnormally and then the fungus can get in and start living there as well so it's a combination problem you may not have fungus though or you may we'll find out okay do you go to the nail shop at all no i used to uh-huh and then they cut it out like this or um no it wasn't as Oh, they back just, then? They would just um, polish on top of it, but it wasn't as thick as it is. Oh, oh so there. But you haven't been able to even go? No. I think now, after this, you'll be able to put some nail polish even, if you like. I used to put nail polish on it to try to hide it. Right, right. Well, I may be able to do it again. Or I was telling you about this nail tape you can get. You just stick it on. It's temporary, but it's a lot healthier than doing the whole nail polish thing, you know? That's probably true. Yeah. And it looked really, really good. I, I saw my wife had the nail and it looked like almost like a nail polish on. It comes in different colors. Different colors, different, different design, you know. I was going, that's brilliant. <laughs> you know, maybe I need it. <laughs> you actually should start selling it here. Right? Yeah, for the, all the fungus toenail patients. Right. <laughs> yeah, they need some kind of solution to the, because you get embarrassed to show your nails, you know.
How's this area? Sensitive? No? Uh, Feels okay? I'm a little sensitive, but... Oh, it's okay? It's okay. Okay. So this side was a little bit less involved. Okay, so now we're gonna really, really grind it down, okay? Are you ready? I think I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> it, sure. it, it shouldn't hurt you. It's just oh, gonna, it's okay. gonna spray a lot of water. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word tennis nails in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Because you have to do a lot of grinding. Is it, like, it kind of like going to the dentist? <laughs> yeah, almost like that. Yes, <laughs> yes. I wasn't kidding about water, huh? <laughs> Can you You feel okay? No, no pain so far. Uh, the opposite direction. Not painful, right? Mm -hmm. hmm? Feels a little odd. Feels odd? <laughs> Do you feel the heat or no? Yeah, we have to first find out if it's fungus. Oh. If it's fungus, then it would improve with what we're doing. Okay. If it's the nail bed's damaged, then it may just grow the same way. Mm. Then we have to, you know, do this periodically. Okay. Just to keep it, you know, look nice and clean and all of that. So. What do you think? I think it looks a lot better than yeah. before. Okay. <laughs> Let's get some water going in.
Obviously, when we do more, then we can get down even more. Then it'll be less sensitive. So I want to like flatten it out like a normal man, okay? Yeah. If I just kind of put it down the thicker portion of the man. Huh? In a while, huh? In a long time. Yeah. Oh, well, sorry, you feel something? It's kind of sensitive. Yeah, it's it's yeah. yeah, it's getting too close. Almost done now. Some water again, please. It gets, it gets a little hot, too. I don't feel the heat, but I think it's vibration. Oh, vibration? Yeah. yeah. up a little bit Let's see actually that side looks pretty good yeah. the nail looks pretty good underneath it I know you had a lot of stuff there yeah. but let me clean it out just a little bit more better don't you? I think so. Yeah. I'll clean it out a little bit there. This one. Okay. I think it's good for today. We'll do some more next time. And then I think it's going to look a lot better. It actually looks a lot better than... Because your base of the nail actually looks pretty clean. Mm. Which is really a good sign. Okay. That if it's fungus, then we can really treat this. And maybe by summer, I'll be able to wear sandals. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. Very good. Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to film you today. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you for watching my video. This patient suffered an injury while playing tennis over 30 years ago, and this has been growing sideways ever since. Since you do lots of stop and go motion while playing tennis, the nail can be driven back to the nail bed, causing damage there. This weakens the nail, so it can be infected with fungus as well. For more videos just like this one, tap that subscribe button and check out my video next here. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.